All Bodies Fitness Podcast, brought to you by a certified personal trainer and nutritional consultant, Patricia Sullivan, and co-founder, Patrick Foster. This podcast is intended to motivate, inspire, and educate our listeners. As we explore all topics related to health and fitness, join us weekly for new episodes. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Here we are. Back at uh, podcast number 18. Yeah, I believe so. Is that what we're we have a special... Uh, special guest today. Special guest. Yeah. Special family gathering here in New Jersey. Mm-hmm. On the road. With Jeannie. This is Hi. Jeannie, my sister. And Gracie. And Gracie. Hi. My daughter. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we're trying something different here. We're with the uh, GoPro in a different kind of setting. And uh, so, we got the audio going over here. So, this is going to be Hopefully interesting. Hopefully, it'll coordinate today. Hopefully, we get it our goes studio, together. It's our so, online studio here. But it's kind of exciting because yeah. uh, recently, uh, we've been, you know, kind of reaching out and, and helping Jeannie along her path. And she's been listening a lot to our podcast. And we wanted to get her take on some of her experiences yes. from when she's, uh, you know, you know, tried, tried some of these. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, wait, let me give you a little background too, though. Is yeah, that, um, yeah. you know, I, I'm the impetus a lot of times for, for these people trying things, right? Because I, I, I went vegan first, right? Yeah. Um, about six years ago, because Gracie's 11 and we became vegan when we were five. And, uh, my sister always called us the crazy vegans, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I'm, I, I, you know, I let people do whatever they want. You know, you want to do it or not. I find the good health benefit for myself. And, you know, Jeannie has had some, uh, autoimmune problem with lichen penis. Right? Lichen planus. Lichen planus. And, um, yeah. so, so listening to our, uh, Patrick and I's podcast, right? And he decided to try it. Yeah. And, uh, and we're really excited. How long has it been now? Um, about six weeks. Six weeks of uh, going vegan, or yeah. mostly vegan, right? Yeah. Like, I like, cheat a little bit. Yeah, we all cheat a little bit sometimes, right? So it's hard to be 100%. But uh, you gave us some good news. Right? Yeah, I went to the doctor and they said my leg and planus went away. Yeah, that's so cool. That's so great. Yeah, because yeah. if you don't know what leg and planus is, mm-hmm. it's like it's an autoimmune disease. And it was in my mouth, and I had like all these blisters and sores, and my tongue turned white, and it was really yeah. horrible. It was painful and, too. Yeah, and it hurt, and it started last summer. Yeah. And then, um, you know, after going vegan, I was like, holy crap, my mouth started to feel better. <laughs> and I went to the dentist, and they said that um, it was all gone. All yeah, we like were so excited to hear that, right? Yeah. Because, you know, it's never, it's like, it's, you know, you could have it forever. Yeah. So I just went and got my teeth clean, and they said everything was perfect. So I'm like, I hope it stays that way because you know the lichen planus can come back. So I don't know, like I can't say for 100% guaranteed that vegan changed it, but it just seems like if it didn't, it sure as was a coincidence that it went away (laughs) at at this time. Mm -hmm. And also, I feel 100% better than I did before, and I have energy. Like I wake up in the morning and I have energy to do all your exercise tapes. (laughs) Now I'm up to doing like three exercise tapes a day, whereas. Before, and I, I also have um, thyroid problem, mm-hmm. and I'm on pills for that. And now when I went for a checkup, they said my thyroid was better. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking in three months when I go back, they're going to say I don't need a thyroid pill anymore. I mean, I will let you know if that happens. Yeah. I'm really hoping that happens. Yeah, we're looking yeah. forward for that update. But That's going to be awesome. If that happens, then boy, you're really going to get more vegans. In <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, it seems like it's like when people said, oh, go vegan. At first, I thought, oh, God, I can't live without meat. I can't live without milk. Right. But, you know, in the first two weeks, I have to say I hated almond milk. I was yeah. like, ugh. You yeah. know, I don't like this. It's horrible. Yeah. But after two weeks, you start to get used to it. Anything, if you change, you get used to it. Yeah, right? and then I realized it's not really bad. I mean, that's still, I still, like, don't love it as much as I did milk, but I do love feeling better than I did it before. That's yeah. the thing, right? You know, because now I actually have energy all the time, and I can't even sleep at night because I have so much energy. <laughs> Whereas before, I was like, I would actually, for months, I was laying, sitting in a chair, and I couldn't get up. I felt so awful. Yeah. So, it's, um... I feel amazingly good, and I and everybody like looks at me goes, "Wow, your you look looks so I mean, good." Yeah. And I'm like, "If your the skin vegan, looks different yeah, the vegan guy audience. is making me look so much better, mm. and I feel like everybody's looking at me saying, "Wow, you look younger." And if, mm. and you know what? Everybody wants to look younger. Yeah, right. So <laughs> or feel younger. Be, yeah, right. Yeah, you know, I'm 54 years old, and a lot of people think I'm in my 40s. Yeah. She told me so, her age. I can't believe it. Well, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I, I realize that age doesn't matter because right. you could be. 
20 and look like heck. Yeah. yeah. You know? So I'm really proud of being as old as I am and looking so good. Yeah. So I think, you know, vegan makes a difference. And yeah. I think people should realize that, you know, meat is really not that good for you. And all the chemicals and the processed foods, I stopped eating all that. Mm -hmm. And it's hard, but once you get used to it, you actually learn to like the other food better. Yeah. You know, like rice and beans and, you know, learning to cook with spices. And, you know, you get your skillet out and you're throwing in all these vegetables. And you actually start looking forward to eating it. Yeah. Matter of fact, just thinking about it makes me hungry. Yeah. So, <laughs> so um, you know, I make, I use a Nutribullet and I make all these shakes and I'm like, you know, it ta everything tastes better, you know? Yeah. And I'll tell you, for a year of not being able to enjoy food with my mouth killing me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's got to be horrible. And yeah. you know something? When you think about it, you, how you feel is way more important than money or anything. Because if right. you have no health, then what good is it? You can yeah. go out buy a nice dress, but you feel like crap. So who cares? Yeah. Yeah, you can't you enjoy know? all that money. No, if you, you can't enjoy it. anything. If You're you immobilized. Feel, yeah. yeah. So I think everybody should go vegan. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, you know, like, I, I, we go by Dr. McDougall, if, if you guys want to look online, right? Um, I I uh, researched it myself and and found that Dr. John McDougall had a great program and it's free on his website. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of recipes and everything too. Some of my share on my site as well. And, and he makes a lot of sense when you listen to him, right? Because you've listened to some of his. Yeah, I, I go to sleep videos. listening. I think everybody should go to sleep listening to podcasts. <laughs> because you really wake up motivated. Right. You, know, you know, it's like you're sleeping and you're listening to it and you fall asleep and you wake up you know, with a good mindset on yeah, what you want to do. Mindset is really you know? important. And I, every time I don't want to exercise, I think of what you always say is like, you know, um, don't skip your workout because if you do, you don't feel as good. And yeah. you really do. I mean, you do that. Stop 15, shooting all over yourself yeah. and make a mush. <laughs> you do it 15 minutes and you just feel so much better, you know? Mm -hmm. So when I got up this morning, I didn't even have coffee. And I did my tape. And I, I mean, I did the tape and I did the exercise. Yeah. And I felt good. And I was like, okay, now I'm done. Yeah. But, you know, a lot of times I'll go back and do more later because it makes me yeah, feel Yeah, right? Better. I mean, yeah. you get that you get that momentum going and then your day just keeps flowing, right? And I, I bet you feel too. better doing exercise too, right? Mm hmm yeah. yeah. You like working out a little bit? Yeah, better. like... How do you like being vegan? I feel, I feel good. I don't have like a lot of colds. A lot. Yeah, you never get yeah, sick. Yeah, you never get no, sick, right? Yeah. 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 So wild. Wow. Yeah, you had one day of absentee at school this past year where you were around other kids, you got like a slight fever, a sore yeah. throat, and next morning it was gone. Yeah. And that's kind of, you know, knock on wood, thank God and everything, you know, you're a very healthy kid, you know, and that's when we went vegan when she was five, and you had, I, don't, I guess you don't remember, but she had uh, eczema and things like that. And once we went vegan, all that went away. And yeah, she's, you know, back on wood. Like I said, she's yeah. been so healthy. So. And she's so pretty. Look at that. See what vegan does to your hair? Who wants hair? It's the big hair. Right? Well, vegan we are in Jersey. You know, the, 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 hey, the vegan the makes hair. the hair grow like that. <laughs> makes her grow too. She's Actually, my hair was falling out. From the thyroid. Oh, but oh, since yeah. I went vegan, the hair is coming bigger and better than ever. Wow. <laughs> I, I, I'd like to see that work for me. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a big bald spot. The well, I'm just saying it's possible. <laughs> but I mean, if you don't, you know, people are afraid of the word vegan or whatever, the stigma sometimes, just say you're on a plant based diet. And if mm. you want to have a little bit, like, you know, yeah. once in a while, like you say, you cheat a little, I mean, there's no vegan police that are going to arrest you, right? right? I mean, if you feel better eating a plant based diet, and once in a while, on a rare occasion, have something that has milk in it or has some meat. Well, you know what? I'm afraid fat, right? to use milk because when I went out to the restaurant, a lot of restaurants don't have any almond milk. Yeah, that's true. And I was like, I want coffee and I can't have any. And I actually just get hot water with lemon now. Yeah. Because I'm thinking if I put that milk in my coffee, I might get my mouth sores back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't want that. So, you yeah. know something? That scares me for milk. Well, yeah. what I noticed with milk myself is if I, you know, and like I said, I'm plant-based, so if I go out and something has milk in it and I eat it, you know, I don't sweat it. You know, I try and just do the best I can. But um, I noticed when I had like ice cream out as a special treat or something, like then my allergies were worse than I say. I'm mm -hmm. afraid of milk. You know, and my allergies are like <laughs> gone when I'm not doing that. You know, I don't have any, I don't take any allergy pills. And then, and then I had ice cream out and then I needed allergy pills to go itchy and order. Well, allergy. I was reading that, you know, people look puffy when they drink milk. Yeah, and I have to tell you, there's important. one thing that I noticed is when I used to drink milk, I was a big milk drinker. I used to drink about half a gallon of milk every two days. And I ate yogurt. 
And since I gave it up, I don't have that blue. I used to have blue every day. I wake up so bloated. Like, you get up in the morning, you feel skinny, yeah. you put your pants on, and by lunchtime, you keep, your stomach's all blown up and your pants are tight. Since I gave up milk, I don't have that problem. It yeah. doesn't blow up during the day. Yeah. So I think that, that dairy, maybe I wasn't supposed to eat dairy. Maybe I was allergic to it. Well, a lot of people just That's awesome, that. right? Yeah. I yeah. love that. We gotta take a quick break because of the timing with everything. Okay. And then we'll come right back. All right, we'll come right back. All right, we hope that you're enjoying this podcast and finding value from what we have been able to share with you. We just want to tell you a little bit about what All Bodies Fitness is up to right now. That's right, Patrick. Allbodiesfitness.click is a great seven-day challenge right now where you can get a 15-minute video emailed to you every morning at 5 a.m. So you have no excuse but to work out every day. And each workout will focus on a different muscle group so you won't be overworked. All right, Sivako, rise to the challenge. That's right. All right, here we are. We're back. We have Chappie here. Chappie, I don't know if we can see him in the figure or not. I think he's in there. Yeah, he's, yeah. I think he's in the, he's in the frame. <laughs> right? Chappie's not happy anymore since I went vegan. Oh, uh, <laughs> so I used to yeah, cook. Yeah, I used to give him all the more. Yeah, when I used to cook, I used to come in the kitchen. Now when I cook, he's like, what is that? Right. My calf, too. He doesn't even want <laughs> to come over to try to get my food anymore. Oh, wow. So now he's stealing the cat's food. Oh, <laughs> but I still cook for him. You know, because, you know, he, he shouldn't have to suffer just because I don't want that. <laughs> I make him ground chicken now, because oh. I figure that's better than beef. Right. You know, because he's got leg issues. Yeah. But anyway, we should try seeing if we make went vegan if we'll fix it. <laughs> <laughs> well, just a word of caution. Now, if you have cats, though, cats can't be vegan. Cats yeah. need meat. Yeah. 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 No, I mean people forget that because you know I even went to a a, a food restaurant, not a food restaurant, a pet store. And I was talking about my cats, and somehow vegan came up. And I was like, but I know my cats can be vegan. He's like, oh, thank you, because so many people don't realize that they can almost kill their cats. Right. Like, yeah, well, we don't want our animals to have no, to no, no. Yeah, right. As long as they're healthy the way they are, what bother? But during break, you brought up something I think is good yeah, to Yeah, I have, um, you know, a couple of my friends were having a lot of health problems. Yeah. And they asked me, what are you doing? You look good. You know, what, what's, what are you doing? And I said, um, you know, I'm, I'm a vegan. And so now they're all asking me for advice. And I sent them Dr. McDougall, and I told them about how everything works and now they're trying it for a week and they have all like you know um different problems with the hands and cholesterol and all different things and they're getting better so i'm waiting to see if how, it, how so it works for them cool. that's so great yeah. 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 you know super. and even like with my son you know he had issues with his you know cholesterol and stuff and i started saying you know food is medicine mm -hmm. and he took it upon himself they want to put him on cholesterol medicine and he stopped eating red meat and he started eating baked chicken and different things and his cholesterol went down mm -hmm. so really food is medicine yeah. food fixes mm -hmm. you know we can fix our bodies with food and i really don't want to have any pills so i'm going to fix my body with you know with food but because i really nice. think you know you can do that yeah, so I'm I totally just can't agree. wait to my next checkup to see if I can get off thyroid pill because I hate taking a pill in the morning because I can't have coffee for an hour and it's like I want my coffee. <laughs> you know? have coffee. The whole hour you have to wait in yeah. the morning before you can eat mm -hmm. yeah. and that's annoying, you know. Yeah, but what you said was important too. That um, I love that what you shared with uh, about your friends and telling people, but also you said you know make it your own, which is really yeah. important too because like I said, you don't have to call it vegan. You say you eat mostly plants. Yeah, like, you, know, you can call it adapted. Right? Yeah, I, mean, I think when you, you know, you try different things. Like, well, you know, at first I was eating cereal, but, you know, cereal doesn't make me feel good. It bloats me. I don't mm -hmm. like cereal, yeah. so I stopped eating cereal. Yeah, yeah. So now I just eat rice and beans and, and vegetables and fruit, and I make lots of Nutribullet drinks. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, and I eat fish. I eat a couple, eat a couple times a week. I eat salmon or tuna, which, you know, I made it my own because I really need something extra. Not everybody can be perfect, you know. Yeah, yeah. But whatever makes you feel good and whatever works for you, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. But I think the less meat we eat, the better we'll feel. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. That's but I think that the good. biggest change I notice is dairy. Dairy. Is not, yeah. Is not yeah. my friend. I totally agree because if you listen to Dr. McDougall, he said that's the. I mean, besides smoking, obviously that's the worst thing for you. But besides uh, giving up smoking, the best thing you can do for your health is to give up dairy because it is inflammatory. Like yeah. Every way, every And it is. triggers things. It yeah. triggers asthma. It triggers. Um, allergies and also the bone density, which I don't know if you ever had tested it. I haven't had mine tested, um, but I probably, you know, probably will at some point because I turn 50. But uh, bone density is a big issue, osteoporosis in this country, and which is so funny because it's like, you know, calcium, right? So everybody thinks, oh, I got to drink more milk to make the calcium better because 
osteoporosis is a, is a big threat. But in this country, we drink more dairy and eat more cheese and other dairy products than any other country. We have the worst osteoporosis. Mm. And from what I've, you know, what I've learned from, you know, studying Dr. McDougall and other doctors like that, is that dairy actually pulls the calcium from your bones because it makes your body acidic. Right, wow. and so the acid nature, then the body has to change that and become more, you know, base alkaline. So it pulls the calcium out of your bones to neutralize all that acid you put in there from the dairy. Wow. So the more dairy you drink, the worse your bones are going to be. Hmm. You know, so it's kind of crazy that you know we got it backwards, and that and that, that's something I hear all the time telling people that I eat mostly vegan, and they're like, well, where do you get your calcium? And I'm like, the same place that a gorilla or an elephant will get it from plants. Yeah. You know, they're gonna, uh, an elephant is a very strong creature, right? Yeah, it's like remember when, when, before I went vegan, I remember every time I used to be, I said, damn vegan! <laughs> <laughs> and I used to make fun of you. Yeah. Because yeah. I, was, I always felt like, you know, that's stupid. I like meat. I'm not changing, you know. Yeah. And, I like milk in my coffee. Huh? Yeah, I want my coffee. <laughs> and I really didn't, I really didn't you resisted. believe yeah, yeah. that I would be able right. to change. And right. I don't even know what it was. It's something just said, you know what, I'm going to I'm gonna do it. Yeah. And, you know, after I did, I'm like, well, you know, I'm making fun front of them and uh, I feel better now. So, <laughs> so I guess I was being kind of stupid. But you know, you really don't realize what a big difference it makes until you actually do it. Yeah. yeah. Because when you hear, oh, I'm not going to be able to eat. What can you eat if you don't eat meat and you don't drink oh, yeah. What can you eat? You know, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, you know, there's a whole world full of fruit. You go to a, a farm and you'll see all the vegetables and fruits yeah. and you're like, you know. And another thing that I realized too is, you know something, I've been on a diet my whole life. I mean, I've always had a weight problem. And I was thinking, you know, I can eat all these fruits and vegetables, and I don't count my calories. Yeah, either. you don't have to. Because yeah. you know what? You can't gain weight on fruits and vegetables. That's true. Right. Yeah. And, you know, you you don't drink milk. There's a lot of calories in milk. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of cal calories in milk. A lot of fat. I'm eating all the time, and I'm eating more than I ever ate. Mm -hmm. And I actually feel like I'm getting smaller yeah. because I don't believe in the scale anymore. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, I think I wake up in the morning, I used to weigh myself every day like a religion. And then I'm like, oh, well, I lost a pound next day, I gained two. And I'm like, I'm like, damn, you know, it makes you feel like, you know, I'm going to decide yeah, how I feel today on that number. So I said, you know what, I'm not doing that anymore. Yeah. I can get up, you know, now, I, since I gave up the scale, now I'm using a pair of pants. And I had a pair of pants that was too tight, so now I put them on every day, a little looser, you know. So I'm still, like, not perfect, I still make that, you know, I'm still a little nuts, like, when it comes to that. But now I put those pants on this morning, I'm like, well, I, I think they fit good. And I could button them, and they're not tell you at all. So I'm doing better, <laughs> yeah, but I don't need that number to tell me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you actually shrink from the exercise. You know, your weight could stay the same, and you could actually get smaller get from the exercise. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, you, you know, because you could look like, you know, you could look, actually look skinny from just doing the exercise, even if you're not. So the exercise is going to make you look skinny. And the uh, food is going to make your complexion make you look younger. So I feel skinny or younger, and I don't even need a scale. <laughs> so you know, I think you know, really, um, a scale is a, to me is like not a good thing because you're always making your mood be on your scale. Yeah, now you I'm making my mood yeah, be on how want, I feel. You don't want that to dictate your scale. Yeah. Tell me how you feel now based like, on what's I wake up feeling thing. good. Yeah. So why do I need that scale to tell me? Well, how that's to feel. the the mindset Patrick yeah. and I are always talking about yeah. too. Yeah. And you don't need that scale to decide right. how you feel. Yeah, today. you yeah. got a choice of how you get Just like you don't need the opinions of other people no, to determine don't. how you're going to feel. You don't need the scale to tell you how you're going to how you're going to feel. Yeah, because you you have to wake up and see how you feel. Yeah. But I really feel good, so I, I'm really glad that I listened to you guys. Yeah. And you know, oh, it took six years. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I think about it, I'm thinking there's so many people that would benefit from your program. Yeah. You know, because it changed my life and mm -hmm. it made me get healthy because I really didn't think I was ever going to feel better. Cool. And if it wasn't for you guys, I, I wouldn't feel good now. I mean, you, so, you sound, look, and I know you feel fantastic. Well, I, I just have so much energy. I can, I can tell. <laughs> you know, I, can, I can tell you when, when we, we haven't seen you for, it's been a little while. Since April. Yes. Since yeah. April. Yeah. And, and when, you know, you came in, you're all bouncy. And yeah, you have yeah, such a yeah. positive outlook and everything. You it's look just, great. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you look great. And look younger. Man, <laughs> hey, those are look younger. We all want to look younger. Yeah, sure. Well, I can tell your mindset's better too because you, you know, you sound more positive. And and when you said, I, I'm not lying. When she said I'm 54 on camera here, I almost fell out of my chair because I always would kid people saying that my old, my older sister is now younger than me somehow. 
Because, you know, you lie about your age, right? You know, memory does a little bit, right, sometimes. But but it's like you said that, and you're proud of that because you look care. great. You yeah, look great. Because right. yeah. like, you know you look good. Yeah. You know you feel yeah. good. Yeah. And you know you care. feel exactly. younger yeah. than yeah. you are, right? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like... Um, That's a mindset know, change right there. Yeah, yeah I feel really like cool. I've always... You know, numbers don't matter anymore. The weight number, yeah. the age number, you know, it's how you feel and how you look. Because, yeah. yeah. you know, we're all going to get older yeah. and we're all going to, you know, whatever. Change is going to happen yeah. regardless of whether so you want to I'm or gonna, not. You know? I'm going to be the best 54 I could be. Yeah. And when I'm 80, I'm going to be the best 80 I could yeah, be. Yeah, there you go. And so, you know, as long as you feel good, that's all that matters. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. You know? yeah, that's awesome. And, like, I feel like I'm just going to get younger looking. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was in a grocery store the other day and I ran into somebody I haven't seen in like 20 years. And they walked up to me and they recognized me right away. And I yeah. can recognize them. And I thought to myself, you know, they rec <laughs> everybody always recognizes me, but I never recognize anybody. And I'm thinking, what, are, what is the difference between me and you? And I was thinking, well, they eat crap. <laughs> and yeah. when you eat crap, you look like crap. Yeah. And it's true. And yeah. if you hear all you like, oh, you know, you know, look good, you feel good. Yeah. And it's true. And I was and I was listening, you know, Christy Brinkley, how she you know, everybody always thinks, Oh my god, she looks so young or whatever. And I was listening to her on a TV interview the other day and she's a vegan. Oh, is she? Okay. Oh really? Yeah, she's a vegetarian, she said. So I don't know if she eats any meat or not. Huh. But she said she she's a you know, vegetarian since she was thirteen. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, Well, there you go, somebody who's sixty something who doesn't look old because of the, the diet. Wow. You know, everything helps. Every little bit helps. Well, even when I was in personal training school, I remember we, we didn't really talk, we talked about, you know, diet was a big part of that certification and nutrition too, um, as a consultant. But we, we did say, and I recall this vividly, was that, you know, vegans, not vegans, vegetarians live six years on average longer than everybody else. So that's yeah. a big difference. You can and go now, out six years. Yeah, and that's not vegan. That's just vegetarian. Yeah. So there's no studies on vegan because it's a newer term. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So we don't really know. But I imagine you live even longer too, right? And oh, you know, yeah. so Gracie is gonna live to 140 or more. I'm sure. Right? Yeah. Because <laughs> she's been vegan since yeah. she's you know five, and and I plan to live to be 140, so I could be around to see her at least 100. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, I'm just hoping that uh, that uh, if it takes away your health problems. That's the biggest thing. That's the thing. I mean, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, we're animal lovers. We got cats and dogs and everything. So we, we appreciate the situation of the yeah. animals. But that wasn't my impetus for change. It was the health. You know, mm -hmm. I wanted to, to feel better and live longer and be really healthy, you know, the best I could be for my clients, for myself, and especially for my child. Because, you know, at that point she was five and, you know, wanted to do what was best for her. And I remember you, you got pretty quick changing your diet but for me it took me a good six months to stop looking at my plate and saying what do I put the chicken what do I put here mm -hmm. you know what I mean because I used to eat chicken and, and turkey and stuff a lot of fish and you know it took a while before I look at the plate and say what do I do and then I realized oh just put don't more don't use a plate in here use a bowl <laughs> you know what I mean just, what I do, just bowl. put more rice or more whole grains or whatever you're eating you know what I mean instead of the meat and now of course I'm totally used to it but it took a good six months because I didn't have any little bowl you know I had no <laughs> except for watching some videos and stuff I had no like role model or whatever to say what do you eat you know who do I ask you know so it took me a while to get to that and even with my daughter I'm like what am I going to feed her <laughs> you know what I mean? well you know my That's cholesterol right. was up and mm -hmm. my my blood pressure yeah, yeah and that scared me mm -hmm. when they said that they want to put me on a cholesterol pill and a blood pressure yeah, pill yeah. it actually did give me I took the, the cholesterol pill for one day and I'm like I don't like this yeah and then you know, when I went back to my last blood work, my cholesterol is perfect, my blood pressure is perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm perfect now. <laughs> so, I mean, it's like yeah, your cholesterol will drop yeah. quickly. So, it's like, matter. wow, you know, it's such a difference. And, you know, at my age, I started to gain weight since I went when I had um, the thyroid started. I gained like 15 pounds. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what I weigh now, and I don't want to know. But I know one thing is my clothes fit me that I, that I was wearing before I gained the 15 pounds. Yeah, so, about that. so yeah, that's great. Yeah. I mean, that's like six weeks. So if you want to lose weight, and you want to look better than you ever did, and you want to not have to take any pills, then why not give it a shot? Yeah. You know, what do you got to I mean, lose? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, people are like, it's extreme. I'm like, that's extreme, but going on medication or going for that's surgery or, or having yeah. heart disease. Right. Or, I know yeah. you've said that a lot. Like, or, yeah, that's not extreme. You know, let's get into that in just a second. Let's let's take another quick break. Okay. So I can restart this, and okay. then we'll we'll come right back. Right. Yeah. Well, I think you know the main thing is to feel good. And that's that's the whole thing. Everybody wants to feel good mm -hmm. yeah. because you can't buy your health. Yeah. Right. Right. You know, you can go out and buy anything you want, but you're yeah. not buying your health. Yeah. Yeah. So if your health is good, you know, you know what I was thinking too is, you know, if, if we feel good, that makes us nicer. 
you know, when you feel good and you're positive, then you want your friend or anybody to feel what you feel. Because everybody should want it to help their mate. That's powerful. Whereas, you know, when you feel rotten and you're unhappy, you don't care about you either. You, know, <laughs> you don't care about anybody else, you right, just right. care about yourself. Yeah, but true. what can we do once we feel good, we can spread the word to make everybody feel good. And, be, you know, and maybe everybody can do something good for somebody else every day. You know, try to be kind to somebody every day. Yeah. Do one nice gesture every day. That's beautiful. I love that. All right, we're back. <laughs> Again. Yeah. Having so much fun. Like our yeah. third segment or something. Like that. <laughs> and it's trying something new here, so yeah, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's going to take a little bit. No, it's fine. It's trying great. to figure out this technology and all this. Yeah. yeah. See. No, but what, what Jeannie was saying that I think is great is that, um, you know, uh, that you feel good and that you can't put a price on that. Right. And I think what I said before with break two was that, you know, the, you know, changing your diet seems like a huge monumental challenge. It's gonna be, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so extreme to Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's something really important that I forgot to mention is, you know, I had a lot of anxiety. I mean, I was, I had a lot of anxiety. Yeah, no, Every time I saw, you know, construction work, I'd have a panic attack, I'm like, oh, I don't know how to get anywhere. And, you know, all this anxiety at all the time was really annoying. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was gonna go on medication, I was debating it. But, you know, I really don't like pills. I, don't, I never did. So yeah. I, I'm like, eh, I don't want to be on a pill, but I don't like feeling so anxious and stuff. And, you know, I'll tell you, since I went vegan, I feel calmer. Mm -hmm. I feel clearer. Mm -hmm. I feel better. And I don't feel as, like, now I see a detour, oh, well, I'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. You know, I could just ask Siri where to go. She knows. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's amazing how you you feel different. I think there must be something in the meat and the milk that is really poison because... Why did I have, I, I was actually reading something about, you know, meat and dairy could be causing mental problems because there's some, so much of this estrogen and poison and all this crap. How do you know how it affects everybody else? Yeah. I mean, I just know that I feel better. Right. I know I feel calmer. I feel stronger. I feel clearer. You know, I was really a mess. I mean, I know I never even told you that, but I, you know, I actually, you know, talked to a counselor and I told her, I said, I can't believe that I feel so much better. I don't need to go get a pill anymore. I don't That's need to think about uh, that. Uh, uh. You know, and yeah, I, I had depression. Anxiety. I had depression because yeah. of my anxiety. Yeah, yeah. And now I don't. So well, that's that's really beautiful. I love hearing that. But it could be the vegan diet, but it also could be the combination of the vegan diet, the exercise. Yeah, because and exercise and the mindset. And the mindset it's because all you've been it. listening yeah. to all these. Great yeah, people podcasts. need to listen yeah. to the podcast every it's night everything. because it really makes you wake up positive. I go to sleep every night, I have it on my phone, and I listen to it, I put it on when I'm going to sleep. And it's funny, because, you know, just yeah, just last night, I couldn't sleep, and I, you know, I was talking to my husband, he goes, oh, put your podcast on, that always puts me to sleep. <laughs> yeah, because I fall asleep, but, and then when he goes to bed, he has to turn it off, yeah. because I'm, I'm always falling asleep with a podcast. <laughs> and, you know, he was watching a sport game, so he didn't want to hear anything. Yeah. So, it's funny, because, you know, it's true, you know, I didn't put it on, because I'm like, oh, I heard that one again, but, you know, when I hear it again and again and again, yeah. I remember it. Anymore. Yeah. And That's I the same that, thing for us. I mean, we, we listen to, you know, some of the people that help us uh, learn some of the things that we're learning. We listen to them over and over again. Because he needs. And every time that I listen to them, I, I hear something a little bit more than what I heard before. Yeah, you don't or, always get it all. You know, yeah, 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 trying to absorb it and process it and mm -hmm. experience it and live it. Well, we all need is, reminders yeah, too. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? It's like we all know we intellectually do. that you should exercise every day. Yeah. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. you need that reminder, and, and and it's a difference between knowing something intellectually and like feeling it. So by listening to it a lot. You know, you're telling yourself the positive messages yeah. and hearing the positive messages, it sinks in. You know what I mean? Because our self-talk is so important. So that's going to get rid of the anxiety and depression if you if you keep this going. Yeah, which, is, you know. which is kind of cool because one of the things that, that we're, we're practicing and learning and experiencing ourselves is that, you know, and, and you've touched on it about how you feel. And, and, and really at the core of all that we're experiencing is that everything that we need for health and fitness and mindset is already residing within us. Yeah, yeah and you know what else yeah. that's really important is, you know like women always feel like they're jealous of other women? Yeah. You know, I don't feel like that. I mean, I, I really never did, yeah. but I feel more like, you know, um, I want everybody to be the best person they could be. Right. You know, I feel like, you know, I'm getting better 
and I feel better and I feel happy and I want everybody else to feel what I feel yeah. so now it's like when I meet somebody that you know needs to lose weight or has other problems I'm like just do what I did mm -hmm. because it'll change your life and make you feel better mm -hmm. make you a more positive person and if we were all better and more positive we could do something good for somebody else every day yeah, you know that. even if it's a little thing like somebody drop something pick it up you know may smile at somebody who maybe don't feel happy you know, everybody. You know, everybody, nicer to the checkout. Yeah, you know? you know, appreciate the waitress that brings that food, yeah. and not be like a lot of people are rude. Oh, you know, no, we should all be better people. Yeah. But if you feel better, you're gonna be better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think it it just change it could change everybody's life and make everybody a better person. And we should all try to like donate to animals and you know organizations and even helps you know any anybody that you can. If I see anything I can do to help somebody else. We should all help each other mm -hmm. because in the end we're all God's creatures and we that's should true. all be better. Yeah, that's true. You know, so I think it's it's like you guys made such a difference in my life, and I think everybody should, you know, join your, oh. you know, thing because, <laughs> because without you guys, I would never be uh, where I am now. That's great. So think about life changing things that you've done for me. What can you do for the world? Yeah, well, uh, that's, that's, that's that's why we wanted to do. That's this. why we do this. We want to help people. I mean. You know, it's funny because I've been vegan for so long that, you know, I, I'm getting better in a way because for a while I almost like was vegan shy. I didn't want to tell people, yeah. you know, because people then judge you and I feel like nobody wants to hear it and they yeah. get angry or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was afraid to, to admit it in a lot of ways it's because when I first found out about it, you know, six years ago, I felt the way you feel now that this is like the cure for everything. I got to tell everybody, I got everybody to change. And then you get all this negativity in people. I mean, even, you know, even you and everybody making fun of you or whatever. And I know you didn't mean it, you know, whatever. But I mean, <laughs> sorry. you know, but everybody does that to you. It's like you're an idiot, you know, that you feel like, oh, nobody wants to hear it. So I just kind of like shut down from it. I didn't really want to share enough. And that's wrong, you know, because if you do know, like you do, that it makes people feel better and healthier, you should like feel yeah, obligated. Don't hold back to the story somebody. that could change the lives. Yeah, of the yeah. Because yeah. when I went to my, but I was afraid of the judgment. Yeah. When I went to my dentist the other day, the hygienist who cleaned my teeth, mm -hmm. she goes and she was asking me, "Well, you look so good. What are you doing? Everything?" And I told her, and she goes, "You know, you're a walking billboard for this vegan." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Well, try it and yeah. see what happens." Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and it's true. You know, we should all try to. If we, you know, what you want to share what you feel. And yeah, a lot of people yeah. don't. They don't feel what we feel. I'm right. sorry. Yeah. And if you don't try you never will right and that's a big loss for you yeah, yeah. well so, I mean like you said if you feel better you know you can help more people because like I made the example or something the other day if you're bleeding you can't worry about somebody having a toothache you know what I mean mm -hmm. and so many people are just like a low level unhappy and feeling sick but not enough to change but you're you're sick yourself so you can't help them but if you feel good because you're vegan and you're you're taking good care of your body and you're seeing results yeah. then you can notice somebody that has the two things you know what i mean you can help them but everybody else is is sick so that they can't really be free enough to help other people a lot of times you know what i mean so so that's what's so nice about taking good care of yourself is you can spread it because you feel good you know what i mean so you're not worrying about yourself enough and the one thing that the other thing that I, lo I love about this, you know, this type of approach is that it's it's a sustainable approach. Mm -hmm. It's not like a, a fad diet or something like that where you, you know, you make you make some drastic changes for a short period of time to get to get some type of result. But that you know, this is a sustainable approach to nutrition and health and fitness for your, the rest of your life. Yeah, you know, and you can you self direct can, it. You and, and you'll you'll continue to feel different and experience new changes that are healthy for you rather than you know over a short period of time and then after after at the, at the end of that diet you know then you you've got to figure out now what do i do yeah you know, well so many people go on those diets and gain it all back yeah i mean people well, you worked with that time remember the guy right. lost 60 pounds or even people have been through and surgery then he gained it all back yeah yeah that's yeah. true yeah, yeah. The guy I was working with. yeah you're right <laughs> Yeah, he, he went through, he, he, he did the he did the diet, and, uh, him and his Some wife. kind of Atkins-ish kind of thing. Yeah, and then, you know, they, they just, they, you go back to, to your normal life, to, to your regular routine after the end of that, and you, you, you just go back into your old habits. So yeah. you, you've got to, you got to make changes that are going to be sustainable. You're not going to want to go back because no. you're not, if you feel as good as I feel, yeah. you're not going to want to eat the crap that made you right. feel the way you felt yeah. before. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not a change, it's a lifestyle. 
You know, exactly. it's, it's, it's forever. You know, I mean, fruits and vegetables have been here way longer than us. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. And people didn't well, eat that much meat years ago. No, no, we lived on the starches. I mean, the, you know, China and Japan, they live on rice, right? And uh, actually, parts of right of, of Japan lived on sweet potatoes was their base, and then fruits and vegetables. And a little bit of meat flavoring, no dairy to speak of. I mean, and they lived the longest, like in Okawana, right? You know, they lived for 100 plus years. And, and that's what the base is, you know, base your food on natural things, right? You know it's I mean? just like a lot of people would say, you know, when they were making all these Nutribullet shakes, I heard people say, oh yeah, but you know, I gained weight because of all the sugar, you know, and all the drinks, but you know what it is? They didn't give up meat, they didn't give up dairy. So when you're adding some, you're adding the calorie from that, plus you're putting on top of all your other things, of course you're gonna gain weight. That's another thing that I've cut out. I, I mean, I've, I've, I've I've, I've cut it out, but then every once in a while, you know, I'll probably, I'll probably indulge a little bit, but, mm -hmm. but one of the things that I've got is sugar, sugar also, sugar, um, so the dairy, sugar, and, you know, and, and overall the meat. So on that path, that's, that's where I find myself right now, and I do feel better as a result of making those choices. I only put sugar in my coffee. Yeah, well, you gotta, you know, you gotta make changes that you can sustain. It yeah. takes a while. But the thing is, too, what I just want to mention when you said that is, People think they can't have fruit because of fructose. It's not table sugar. Right. It's fructose. The body knows how to handle it. It's natural. It gets processed by the liver. It doesn't go to fat. So stop thinking that. Eat your fruit. It's so good for you, right? But it was yeah. it was so strange. Like, you know, like mostly I've cut out most of the sugar. And somebody gave me a where, where were we? Somebody gave me a little mint or something, and I, and I ate that. And I and I rarely eat anything with any sugar anymore. So uh, when I ate it, I could feel the difference in my body. So that's that's, weird. that's the thing when. When you when you start making some changes like this, and and you and then you if you end up trying you know something that you you've been off for a while, you, you're probably gonna feel like wow that's why did I do that? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's gonna affect your body probably. Yeah. You won't feel as good, so you won't want it. Again. Yeah, so yeah. you won't want to keep going that way. Yeah. Excellent. Um, Gracie, did you want to add anything yeah. about your experience? Yeah, like I used to love hot dogs. I remember. And now I don't really care. Yeah. <laughs> I got used to it. <laughs> now you wouldn't eat one. Yeah, right? I wouldn't eat one. <laughs> she won't even eat a vegan hot dog because she looks like me. I can get chappy or hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> chappy said, I gotta have my hot dogs. He, said, he just heard the word hot dog. And he said, <laughs> hot, dog. Like, hot, dogs. hot dogs? Yeah, give me one of those. <laughs> Jackie said, you damn vegan. <laughs> Where's the smell of the meat cooking? Right? Actually, good stuff. Well, well we've so had much. a great time yeah. here in New Jersey with uh, Jeannie, and uh, we love you, and yeah. we're so glad that we got a chance to have this time to to get your your take on yeah, the experience Yeah, thank you so much had. for sharing with our audience, too. Yeah. So that, well, I'm know, hoping can... that it helps somebody else. Yeah, definitely. Oh, so too. I'm so sure leave us will. comments. And, uh, it's helped me. Yeah. It's inspired me it's to, yeah. to keep yeah. going on the path. Yeah, knowing that you made a change in somebody else's life should be Makes inspired. us feel so good, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 it's really good. We should be like, rewarded. Uh, well, you. we are rewarded right yeah. now. I mean, this is such a really... Yeah, no, it's an internal reward, but, you know, it's just so, it's so good. Uh -oh. So yeah. send donations in and we say. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all right. Well, well then so we'll much. see you all next week, and right. we're looking yeah. forward to following up with uh, your progress. Yeah, well, let's do it. Uh, yeah, that'd be like in October or something, right? Yeah. September, I go back. September. To work all right. Yeah. We'll be looking for an update on September. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye.